So you're one of the best known economists in the world, but I don't know how many people know about you before and your career before um, capital in the 21st century. Why don't you tell us a bit about, about you? What's your story? How did you end up becoming someone interested in inequality? interested in equality from an economic history perspective. Tell us a bit about that, please. Yeah, you know, I've, I've always been interested in history. And I guess, you know, I, I, I first studied mathematics in France because, you know, in my country, there's a strong incentive to do to do math when you're good at math. And but, but basically, I was more interested in history from the beginning. So I went to economics as a way to sort of shift towards the social sciences. I, I did my PhD in Paris and at LSE through a, a European doctoral program arrangement that existed at the time. Then I was hired as an assistant professor of economics at uh, MIT back in 1993. So this is, you know, almost 30 years ago, I was a baby, you know, I was 22 at the time and I was doing, you know, very mathematical uh, oriented uh, modeling. I knew nothing at all about economics and I, I found it a bit strange you know, to be hired as an assistant professor by MIT as I, as I didn't know anything. And, uh, you know, I was very honored. I was very interested by the years I spent in the US. But at, at the same time, it puzzled me a little bit about the discipline, the fact that you could, uh, you know, be very successful uh, just by proving math, math theorem. And, and, uh, and, and I think this partly contributed, you know, to, to, you know, my decision to shift to more historical research. Uh, you know, I didn't want to spend uh, all of my life uh, proving uh, math theorems uh, uh, about, uh, I mean, mathematics is beautiful, but then you should do real math and not, uh, not I think, uh, uh, mathematics applied 